I am in the car right now and today I'm going to go to a bunch of free little libraries and I'm so excited. I actually went to my first free little library the other day. I kind of saw inside and there's a lot of books so I'm excited. Okay, let's go. A lot of kids books. Let's see. So many kids books. There's so many Magic Treehouse books. Judy Bloom. Like, I wonder if my brothers would like any of this. Oh. The Art of Saving the World. Whoa. Strange History. <gasps> I'm like, I need to know what's behind it. The Midnight Dress. Oh, <laughs> what's that? <laughs> I kissed Alice? An arc? Okay, this is what I'm taking. So, let me reorganize. Okay. And I'm going to put my book in. <gasps> okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, so as you saw, I found this called I Kissed Alice. There's like Oh my god, you guys. I can't believe I found this in like a little free library in my town. It has these little comics. Oh my god. Oh my god. This sounds so good. Oh my god. This sounds so good. I literally feel like I struck gold. It says it publishes May 2020. So it literally like just published my god this is so exciting i'm so glad i did this i can't believe i found this this is amazing but today i wanted to go and like just visit a bunch of them and i brought a big tote bag of all my stuff um which is just like 13 ish books and yeah that's really it i literally got addicted to watching these free little library videos i just thought they were so fun i loved watching people just like rummage through them and so i just thought it'd be really fun to do for myself and i have a bunch of books i want to get rid of so these are mostly books that have like stuff in them like highlights or like writing and stuff because first of all i figured that'd be like fun for someone else to get like i would love getting that and also because there are a lot of books that I want to give to my like local used bookstore, but they prefer to not have like markings in it and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead to the first one. I'm very excited. I really started it off with a bang the other day because I just found like such a good find in the little library. And now I'm like, I have high hopes. I have high expectations. I don't think I'll probably find one that I like in every single one of them, but who knows? Maybe I will. So, yeah, let's go to the first one. So, I'm at the first one. I have to say, I am really nervous about this because all of these are, like, at people's houses. Like, the one I went to first was, like, on the side of someone's house, but this is at the front of someone's house, and, like, their cars are in the driveway, and I'm like, oh, God. But it's fine it's fine it's fine it's okay just trying to remind myself that they put it there for a reason they wanted people to come it's fine it's okay so i'm going to get rid of this one exiles and see what i can find ah uh, the diary of a wimpy kid let's see Ooh. 
okay so that went better than expected um i just looked through as you saw there were a lot of kids books so i was kind of like oh i don't think i'm gonna find anything but then i found big little lies which i've heard great things about and there's a tv show you know based off it and i actually really like it's like a really worn in copy and it feels really nice and I'm happy about it. So this was a good first stop. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, so I drove to the next place. It's actually really convenient because there's like a park right next to their house. So I had somewhere to park, but I think I'm gonna bring, hmm, I think I'm gonna bring this book next, Can't Buy My Love. Also, I just wanted to mention how cute my bag is. My grandma gave it to me and it says, I'm protected by the divine eye. And it has this like, cute little design on it and it's just so cute this one is so cute okay so it has a little latch oh my god like all the shelves okay interesting a lot of series of unfortunate events oh that's like really cute Okay. Eclipse. <laughs> oh, shit. Watching You by Lisa Jewell. Oh, I really might take this one. Okay, hold up. I saw this at a at a Goodwill in California. <gasps> Marvel Runaways. This is bad. I'm gonna take more than I should. I'll leave this one right there. Okay, so I would consider this going really successful as of right now. As you saw, I found Watching You by Lisa Jewell. I've read two Lisa Jewell books. I literally just read one like recently and this is one I haven't read. So I'm really excited about this. I also um, took the Runaways comic because I've always wanted a Runaways comic ever since I watched the show, but I just never got around to getting it. I did only put one book in because it was kind of a long walk to my car, but I will repay by putting two books in the next one. So anyway, I'm really excited by these finds. Like this is going so well so far. Okay, we're at the next one. I'm going to bring, hmm, it looks kind of tiny. So I think I'm gonna bring like thinner books, you know? So let's see, I'm gonna do The Alchemist. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna do The Alchemist and amusing ourselves to death. Many, many kids' books. Bookmarks. Okay, so you couldn't see much of um the upper shelf in that clip, but it didn't really have anything that I was interested in. It had a lot of children's books. But I did find this, um, The Adventures of Captain Underpants, <laughs> so I took that because, um, my brothers used to read Captain Underpants, so, like, maybe they'll read it now. I don't know, I just didn't want to leave with nothing, and I, I really think that would be, like, a good thing for my brothers, so I got them a book, and now we're gonna go to the next one. Okay, I'm at the next one. Again, it's right in front of someone's house, so that makes me feel great. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to be swapping paper towns. So let's see how this goes. There we go. Okay. We have this Lisa Jewel book that I have read.
Okay, truthfully, I didn't see anything I liked. I did see the Lisa Jewel book that I bought at full price the other day and um, have read, but besides that, I didn't really see anything I liked. So I didn't get anything, but I still put my book in there. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. So <laughs> we're gonna go to the next one now. Okay, I'm at the next one. What is this, number five? literally beats me i'm going to be giving away being there um yeah i think if i don't find one that i like i won't put it in only because there's a few more i want to go to and i don't want to run out of books to give so yeah let's go okay interesting don quixote hmm. what's this Oh, it's a guest book. That's cool. Oh, my goodness. I already know what I'm gonna take. Pet Cemetery by Stephen King. I've wanted this for so long. I also have a Sarah J. Mass book. Are the crawdads saying? Never heard of this Stephen King. Hamlet. Okay, so I'm actually really happy with that find. The last two I went to, I didn't really see many adult books, so I was kind of getting discouraged. I was like, I don't know, you know, if all of them are going to be kid books or not, but I went to this one, and as you saw, I picked up Pet Cemetery by Stephen King, and I'm literally so excited about this because I've wanted to read a Stephen King, obviously, because I'm a reader and I feel like I should, you know, get a Stephen King under my belt. And I've heard that Pet Cemetery is a great one to start with. So I always said I was going to start with like Pet Cemetery or Misery. Those were the two I really wanted to start off with. So I got this one and it's like a really cool addition. It's like lime green and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So, all right, let's head to the next one. All right, so we are at the next one. I currently have one, two, three, four, five, six books left. So that's pretty good. I think I'm going to put, I guess it doesn't really matter <laughs> which one I put. Okay. I'm going to put When Women Were Birds in this one. So let's see how it goes. Ooh, this one's big. It's a spider web. Mm. Okay, so I don't know if I even filmed that in a good way, but I didn't see really anything I liked in there so it was a pretty sparse one like there weren't many of them so I didn't end up putting mine in there because I don't want to run out like I said before like I visit them all so I'm just gonna head to the next one we are at the next one the last two were um not great <laughs> because well the one just like didn't have anything I liked it didn't really have like much of anything to begin with and then the one I went to last didn't um exist so I'm at this other one though and it does exist so off to a good start it actually looks like a kid's like one but like because like the outside of it like kind of looks like childish but um it looks like there was a lot of books in there but because of that I'm going to put gracefully Grayson in there so yeah okay let's go poems of a life all these other ones do look like kid books but that's okay that makes sense so I'm going to put this one in Okay, so yeah, that one was pretty much exactly what I expected. There was a lot of kid books, but I did find this, which is called Poems of a Life. And it looks like this. And it actually has like something written in it. And it says, to Jenna, I heard you wanted a copy of my book. 
enjoy. So, signed by the author. I don't know who Jenna is, but... <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, I mean, this is cool. It's a poetry book. I mean, I don't know if I'll like it. But why not just try it out, you know? It says, Brenda was born and raised in New Jersey, and she's a middle child of three. Her parents were from Puerto Rico. So... This could be interesting. The fact that, like, she's from around here. Like, that's pretty cool. Okay, so I have five books left. And I know about two or three that I want to go to that are a little farther away. So I'm going to see what's close by and head to the next one. Okay, we are at the next one. Um, I've basically been, like, driving, um, like, in a radius of what's like 30 minutes away from me. So this is the last one I'm gonna go to here, a little farther away from where I actually live. And then I'm gonna head back down to the area I live. And I think there's two or three there that I wanna stop at. And then that'll be it. But I'm going to give this one when women were birds. So yeah, let's go. This one has a lot. Ooh. Another big little eyes. Hmm. Let's look over here. Um, yeah, I think this is one. Okay, gosh, it was so windy out there. <laughs> My hair was all over the place. So I got the house on Mango Street. And I've heard really good things about this. It says it's the story of a young Latina girl growing up in Chicago, inventing for herself who and what she will become. So... Sounds good, and it's really short, so yeah, that's really exciting. I'm gonna head back. I'm so tired. <laughs> I've been driving for so long, but it's fine. It's been fun. I've been listening to Taylor Swift for hours. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna head down to the other ones I want to go to, so let's go. All right, so I am at the last one. I was gonna go to like two or three more, but I've decided against it because I've been driving around all day and I think it'll be nice to save a few of them. Anyway, I'm at this park where this next one is and because it's a park and there's like kids and stuff and my last options are 13 Reasons Why, Jay's Journal, and Alexa Chung's It, um, I'm going to pick this one, which is 14,000 things to be happy about. So, yeah, hopefully there's, like, not just kid books here, but we shall see. Okay, yeah, remember like when I said um, this was gonna be the last one I go to? I take that back because there wasn't anything here I liked and it was very anticlimactic and I wanna, I wanna get another book. So I'm gonna go to this one other one that looks pretty big. So I'm hoping maybe it'll be a little more promising and then I think I'll, I'll call it quits. Okay. I'm here. I'm hoping for the best. I'm going to give up It by Alexa Chung. So, let's go. Uh, 
Oh wow. Hmm. Oh my god, there's a bunny! Guys, I literally just saw a bunny run across the road and as I was driving here, I saw this like black cat in someone's driveway and then another one running and I thought it was the same one, but it was literally two separate black cats. Anyway, so that one was really cute. There wasn't a lot that I was interested in, but I did find this, which is The Death of Mrs. Westaway by Ruth Ware, which I'm listening to a Ruth Ware book on audio right now. And I've heard of this book, and I don't know if I've heard of it because it's good or because it's bad but it's mine now yeah i'm into it it has some dirt on it but i'll just dust that off no worries okay well that was so fun i had such a fun day i really suggest like going to a free little library near you there's a bunch everywhere like i was so certain that there wouldn't be any around me because like i don't live in a big city or anything but i just looked it up on the little free library like website and there were a bunch that I could go to and I'm just so happy that I found them. It's such like a fun thing and it's such a great thing to just like be able to swap books and like reuse them. I am very excited about all my new books. Hmm, which one's my favorite? I think probably getting Pet Cemetery or Watching You. Like those were some good finds. That is all for today. I had such a good time. And hopefully I'll visit a lot more free little libraries in the future. But for now, that is all. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and driving all over the place with me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!